let's move on. Welcoming 2018, knowing that God, there is something that you have prepared us. Lord, I know that no sin, no failure, no mistakes can hold you back. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing and no one except you yourself. Oh, some of you missed it. Nothing and no one can hold you back except yourself. So, um, I, I learned that uh, God's plan is always great. Think about this. If God is a good God, would God took the Hebrew out of Egypt and then let them wander for 42 years? Would God do that? I don't think so. God set them free for a purpose. God set them free. God brought them out of, can you say out of? God brought them out of Egypt into a promised land. God has brought you out of your old life. Now you are in a journey, don't wander too long. Some of you have been wandering for too long. And you, some of you have been, yes, I received Jesus, I've been baptized, okay, but, but you're still wandering. And, and the Word of God says, hey, you have been in the circle, you have been going around and around and around and around for too long. Go north! Right now, go north! Go north! Oh, yes! And uh, I said earlier that um, God is not going to change you. You have to make a decision to, to change yourself, and then He will help. Here I am, Lord. I'm not adequate. I cannot do it. I cannot change myself, but uh, I, I read your word, and this is your word. And when, you, when we read, I don't know about you, when I read the word, there are many times I disagree with the word because it is contrary to my logic. What happened when that happened? When that happened, I said, Lord, I choose to submit to your word. You are right and I am wrong. Are you with me? So when you, when you read the word of God, when you read the Bible, you will encounter that some of the things <laughs> doesn't click and you need to submit yourself. Oh God, you are awesome. This is, this is, be, be, this is beyond me. And uh, uh, I learned that the devil doesn't mind you going to church. Some of you are not listening. Let me repeat one more time. Satan doesn't mind even if you go to church. As long as you still have your old mindset. As long as you get back down again. As long as you allow the gravitational pull that keeps pulling you back into where the world wants you to, 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 to fit, you, you stay there. The devil doesn't care. The doesn't <laughs> Reality through observation. Some people, they go to church when I said, Satan doesn't mind you go to church because some of you are in church, but you are not in church. That's why the devil couldn't care less. You go to church, go. The devil doesn't even care if you have a dream. You want to have a dream? You hear messages about dream, about vision? Hmm. As long as you don't want to apply or act according to your dream. The moment you want to act according to your future, believe me, there is going to be a force come against you. I said it earlier. God, God has a great plan and Satan doesn't even care if you have a plan. Okay, New Year's resolution. I'm tired of New Year's resolution because many people don't do it anyway after three weeks or two weeks or even sooner. So if you know that, what caused us to be stuck is in the mind. So as we are going to enter into the new year, make a plan. And, and, and Satan doesn't, doesn't even mind if you make a plan, but he is afraid. He really in a serious trouble if you make a plan and you really want to do your plan. Are you with me? So 
God is going to bring us out of the circle, out of the circle. And later on, we are going to make a declaration. We, I, I'm going to, to, to close the service with a shout of declaration. And